No, no wildlife. <laughs> hey, shush. <laughs> I didn't ask for your opinion. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Boy from Demon King. I'm here with Anthony. We're going to talk about his interests. So, uh, Anthony. Yes. What was the first day uh, you started acting? Uh, probably in grade six, um, which was 10 years ago now. Oh, yeah. And um, we did a, sh uh, a play called um, Aladdin. Oh, yeah. Um, which is from the um, animation film with Robin Williams. Oh, yeah. And then it pretty much went from there. Wow. Tell me a bit more about Aladdin. Um, so, um, so our show was quite different than the um, movie, of course. We didn't have any actual songs. We only did the, um, like, the sound effects and stuff. Oh, right. Which is quite different from the film. That is really true, yes. What do you like the most about acting? Um, okay, that's a good question. Um, um, it's um, pretty fun. I've been doing it uh, since, oh uh, gosh, um, 2019. Um, I did a show called The Wild Wild West oh. in, Ma um, in May of 20, uh, 2019. Then just recently last year, in October, I did a show called um, Terra Australis. Oh. It was a um, conflict show. Oh. That was nice. Um, we did three shows. That was great. And now, um, yeah, have, I'm still waiting to hear back about the next show. Oh. What's, uh, what's, what's your favourite movie? My favourite movie will probably be, at the moment, is The Great Showman with um, Hugh Jackman. Oh, yeah? As well as... Um, Dear Evan, Dear Evan Hansen with um, Ben Platt. Nice. With you acting, uh, what type of technology do you use? <laughs> with acting? Oh gosh. Um, that is a good question. So, um, one I remember this one time. I, um, um, when we were doing the um, 2020 division um, a couple of years back, um, well, our, our, writing, our writing designer Chris could not make it one, one day oh, to one of the shows. And I got there at like 6.30 in the afternoon because our show was at 7.30. Mm -hmm. And so the director and the sound person, um, Richard, he, they asked me if I would like to do some writing. And yeah, that was very interesting. I was there for two and a half hours doing some writing. <laughs> wow. And, and um, yeah, yeah, I might want... I probably want to do more of that. That's good, man. What kind of things do you do for lighting? Um, so, make um, you have to make sure that um, the light are on a um, specific actor oh, that's, um, that's in the really scene. True. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. And um, yeah, and yeah, and then that when the um, act finishes, you have to turn down the real knob, um, turns off the lights. Ah, the lights. yeah, that's understandable. Um, what's the challenges for acting? Oh gosh, um, there's a couple. Yeah. Um, probably, the, probably the main thing is probably, um, some some people probably sometimes they forget their lines and um, uh, yeah. and they think they will probably. They probably think they mess up the um, the scene and stuff on the stage. Ah, what's your what's your free choice uh, free choice snack? Okay, so um, I probably say uh, I normally will probably will have a like a um some oils and yeah. probably a drink of dark uh, like a cake or something to okay. keep my energy up for the rest of the um two and a half hours. That's a that's a good thing. Yeah, you all you also need to keep your energy for acting. Yeah. It's like the same thing like for you if you're doing photography or a lot of other things. Uh, what's your other interests? Oh gosh. Probably, um, hopefully in a couple of more years, probably in another three or four years, probably um, have enough uh, money saved and probably go to London or New York to see like West End shows and Broadway shows. Nice. See how many shows I can see in every day. Oh, see yeah. how many shows I can see. Good. What makes you feel happy? Um, uh, probably I got I got I got um I got two. 
So one is having my friends around me and the other one is um, I see my dad on, on Christmas every year. Oh yeah? See my dad on Christmas Day, Christmas Eve and yeah. Then he drops me off at home and yeah. And see all my brothers. That's good. And my sisters. Yeah, definitely found it definitely important. Mm -hmm. What kind of things do you, do you see in the future, like, like for acting and CDIs and all that? Um, oh gosh, that's a tricky question. Oh gosh, um, probably have um, maybe have more um, have more studies coming to Australia, like coming to Tasmania and stuff. Because oh, yeah. we don't have that many in Hobart, really. Oh, that that is true. They don't know. What will you but, see? the future of movies? Um, hire more actors and um, true, yes. more filmmakers and more um, yeah, crew. Yeah, I do. Backst I uh, do behind agree. scenes crew. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's true because they, they need more actors, they need more like directors. If they have more CGI then they'll, they'll make it a bit more futuristic and more different. Uh, what kind of things do you do for radio shows? Okay, so um, I um, was part of a community radio oh, called yeah. uh, 97.7 Tasman oh, FM, oh. which is located down in Yabina, oh, down yeah. in the um, Tasman um, uh, uh, Peninsula. Oh, Peninsula, oh, yeah. Um, all the way down there. Oh. And um, I did a radio show every Monday called uh, The Genie Show, you oh, know, yeah. because The Genie from Aladdin. Oh, and yeah. um, and I, I, I actually came up with that name. Um, and um, yeah, and I, um, I thought about it. Um, they asked me what show um, uh, I would like to call it. Well, the president of the radio station asked me what name you want to call your show. And I said, I had to think about it for, um, for about a couple of weeks because I, cause I, cause I got offered a show on the Monday night. Um, so I had to think of a, um, of a name after those two weeks because I was on, um, my first show was two weeks after that. So, wow. and I did, and I, I did that for about, oh well, gosh, uh, I did that for about four or five years. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I started in grade seven as um, after, like before home time. Yeah. And then it um, kept happening. And then when I finally got to like college or something in grade 11, I um, started doing my own show on, um, on Monday nights from six to, uh, six to seven on Tasman FM. And I did that for about f three years to four years. Wow. Hmm, yeah. What kind of technology do you use for radio shows? Like, for me, for example, I used to, like, I used to, I used to have an iPad, which I don't have anymore, because it, uh. it um, kept um, breaking down on me on, every time I played music on it. That's not sound. I, iPads do do that. Yeah, I, yeah, they do. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, so every time it happened, um, I had to, um, I pretty much had to use, um, anyway, I used to take CDs just in case if that happened. I had two oh, CDs yeah. to back. I had good. two CDs to back up the iPad just in case something happens with the iPad and I can just pop the CD into the CD player in the radio and play it, play it for the rest of the show. And yeah. That's good. But many years of a uh, radio show. Um, what's the one thing that you learned um, from doing the radio show? Yeah. Okay. So I learned how to like work the um, the desk, the radio desk. Yeah. That took a while to um, get used to. Ah. Um, it took me like two two weeks to get um, to get all my my head around it. Oh yeah. Yeah. But once I um. um kept doing it like during the during the year and um yeah so it, it got i could say it got really easier i would say that's good here's uh south from my dude right here anthony and uh if you like the show like and subscribe and i will see you next time peace